Hello, my name's Adam Johannes. I'm a secretary of Cardiff Stop the War Coalition. The war in Gaza is not over. People are still suffering. We were collecting money for the humanitarian appeal, which the BBC refused to broadcast. If the BBC refuses to broadcast it, then people at the grassroots have to broadcast it. And we really tried to tell people that over 60% of the farmland in Gaza has been destroyed. Hospitals, schools, and the only university in Gaza have been bombed. There's still a complete siege and economic blockade of Gaza, which the British government is actually trying to strengthen to stop the flow of food and medicine, which is creating a humanitarian catastrophe, which means uh, not only are thousands of people without employment, but also thousands of people are threatened with starvation. So instead of the quick death of massacre, you're a million and a half people now facing a slow death. to make sure that, uh, that people don't forget just because there isn't any bombing going on that uh, you know people are still dying from, from lack of services and food and so on. Look, when you go home, it's like you're going to eat loads of nice food but look at the Palestinian people. When they go home, what are they going to eat? Nothing. They haven't eaten for like 10 days or something like that. Probably a month. People are dying just because they didn't eat. And there's bombing going on, so we're trying to make the protest and collect the money. So we probably could make more money and then, you know, send it to Palestine. Stop the War Coalition, we were launched shortly after the 9-11 attacks in 2001. We were set up on a kind of three-point slogan, opposing not only the war, but also the racist backlash and Islamophobia that we knew would be uh, whipped up by the war, and also the kind of attacks on civil liberties that we've seen. I don't know how much um, difference it makes, but I just think if people don't do anything at all, then nobody has yeah, a say the and they're not going to listen if you just have to go out and try and do something at least. I mean, a million people have marched against the war in, the, in 2001 and they still did it anyway, but I think they had to stand up and take notice that the people were against it.